Namaste friends. I hope you are doing fine. Do you, as a developer, feel the necessity to extract tables from the data model? Can Power BI Desktop app be used to extract all tables from the data model? Let's find out. I am Subhajit and in this exciting YouTube video, I will guide you through a step-by-step -step demonstration of a powerful technique to extract data from the data model created in Power BI Desktop application. Throughout this tutorial, I'll provide clear and concise explanations along with relevant examples to ensure that you fully understand the concepts. I encourage you to follow along and try it yourself as hands-on experience is the key to mastery. Before we begin, I want to mention that I have a video from a while back that covers some important steps that form the basis of what we will be doing today. It's like the building blocks you need to understand before moving forward. So if you are new here or you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend checking it out. I'll copy the first one by right clicking on it and click on copy. I will switch over to Power BI Desktop, click on Transform Data. In the Queries panel, I will right click and select Paste. I will switch back to Excel, right click on the second query, click on Copy. I will switch back to the Power Query Editor of Power BI Desktop. Right click and click on paste. I'll wait for both these queries to load over here or I can just click on close and apply and wait for the queries to load in the Power BI desktops data model. So the data is now loaded into Power BI Desktop. Good thing is that both the queries approximately ran at the same speed. Before we proceed, you can help me boost my confidence. Please like the video if you like the video. You can subscribe to the channel to get notified on new content. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Share the video with your friends and colleagues. The data is pulled from the data source into the Power BI desktop file and grouped. But now I would like to export this data into an Excel file or a CSV file which I can use to upload to a database. The simplest thing would be to create a table visual on this page over here and drag all the columns from the particular tables 
and then export the data in that table into a csv file i have a more simpler way to do this for that i would require dax studio so what is dax studio and how do we get it you can download and install dax studio from daxstudio.org and like it says over here on the website itself the ultimate tool for working with dax queries if i scroll down i will find the installer file i can click on this download and install by following the on screen instructions it's easy to use it can connect to any data model and there are powerful performance tuning tools within dax studio once i install it on my system this external tools menu will appear and within that i have the dax studio icon i'll click on this once dax studio loads i can see the tables that are created in the data model so this is the calendar table 2021 and 2022 data tables are there there is an advanced menu on top i'll click on that and on that particular ribbon i will find export data i'll click on it so what is the type of export output that i require i require csv files i then have to specify an output path so let's give it one i will not touch any other settings over here i'll click on next now which are the tables that i would like to export first of all i'll uncheck all and then i'll just put a check mark against 2021 and 2022 data tables and click on export it will start exporting the data into those files so both of them are exported and we have these green check marks against it i'll click on close and here i will find the log stating that the data export is completed and two tables have been exported i'll go back to the folder and i will find these two files over here 2022 and 2021 i can double click on these and open so here's the grouped data that we were looking for that is how we can export data from our data set from within power bi desktop with dax studio superpowers wasn't that easy In addition to the benefits I mentioned in the previous video, grouping data in Power BI Desktop can help you group multiple large data sets more quickly than in Excel. If the Power BI dashboard is performing poorly, you can consider grouping the data at the data source. Views and stored procedures can be used to import grouped data into Power BI Desktop. Once you export the fact tables from your data set you will have a good understanding of how the view or stored procedure output should be Dax Studio can not only help you generate dax code for your measures but it can also easily export the entire data set to csv files if needed I hope this video added another tool to your data analysis toolkit We will meet again in another exciting video very soon Stay tuned Bye bye and take care